Hello, my name is Sean Thinjetti, and I am the artist and illustrator of the Starship Valiant Animals poster. I first met Michael online as a result of watching his YouTube channel, The Choice Voice, and at that point I learned that he made Star Trek fan films. I've been a big Star Trek fan ever since I met my wife Lauren, who introduced me to it uh, properly, and I've gone on to watch all the series, and my kids have watched the series, and it's a big part of our family. So it was really great to see the work that Michael and all of you have been doing on Starship Valiant, and I was inspired when um, Michael had sort of mentioned the possibility of me doing some artwork or a painting based on Starship Valiant to ask him if he would be open to me painting a poster as a way of celebrating the work that you guys are doing and to show my support uh, of it. And uh, he graciously accepted my offer and I began work on the poster. So what I wanted to do in this short video is take you through the steps of creating the poster the various uh, stages I went through in the decision-making process, and hopefully it'll be enjoyable for you to watch. And again, to the cast and crew, and especially to my friend Michael, the uh, director, I want to say thank you for the opportunity, and I hope you guys enjoy the poster. I began the process of creating the poster by creating a thumbnail sketch in Adobe Photoshop. And that was just basically me using the trackpad and pushing color around and then looking at photo reference I had screen captured from a rough cut of the film. And as I went through this process, I decided on a poster that was somewhat reminiscent of the work of Bob Peake and his work on the Star Trek movie posters. And as I looked at those, they had this wonderful quality that I think we all understand to be iconic now, and those would be the posters for Star Trek The Motion Picture all the way up through Undiscovered Country. And then at the same time, I, when I was looking at the story, I thought the, the concepts of the story brought to mind the film Enemy Mine, uh, starring Dennis Quaid, and the idea of the two characters facing off. The one difference being, in this case, there was a diplomat, and there was um, a force that was standing between these two opposing sides. So I threw all of that stuff together and realized I wanted to have the Starship Valiant in the foreground. I wanted to have the uh, young character from the story centrally located with the lights of the nacelles and the lights of the planets kind of creating this more ethereal aesthetic to the poster. So the next stage after I did that was transferring it using pan pastels onto the original sheet I created the artwork on and that was a uh, heavy watercolor paper. So I took a 300 pound cold press watercolor sheet of paper, transferred the layout using pan pastels, and then I began using a pencil to tighten up the drawing, and then I started working on it with Pelican Opaque watercolors. So as I started layering in the colors, one of the things I found was that I really needed to make sure I had that rich value to it to create that, that darkness of space, but then at the same time making sure that I captured the quality of the actors and the creature that was in the film, as well as trying to as accurately as I could with traditional media uh, replicating the Starship Valiant itself. So you can see the attention to detail and the, the work that was put in to trying to capture Josiah's likeness, trying to capture um, Presley's likeness in the center who plays um, one of the lead characters in the story, and then of course the outstanding creature design and costume work of the alien. So I spent a lot of time trying to make sure I was getting the textures into it as well as all of the tiny little stars in the background. So that process went on for a little while until I felt like I had resolved it enough. And you can see the various stages that I went through creating the poster here. I was updating Michael constantly via Facebook, sending him messages so that he could get a look at the poster and see what I was up to. So once I got to a point where I felt like it was reasonably well resolved as a painting, I then brought it in and took a look at it in Photoshop and made sure I had a good scan of it and then adjusted some of the values so that it would have the full richness of color that I intended it to have. So it starts in digital with the layout process, then it moves into traditional media and transferring. And then finally I scan it in and there's one last pass in digital and then of course putting the type in as well. So it was a really enjoyable process. I enjoyed getting a sneak peek at the film to inform my process of painting the work and creating the poster. And I hope the cast and crew of The Valiant enjoy it. And I hope you all see it as a sign of my appreciation for the work that you've done and the incredible film that you've made. So take care and thank you so much for the opportunity. 
It was a real joy to work on it.